Hi friends, hi, hello, how's it going today? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I am doing this eye look and it is going to be utilizing the Natasha Denona Circle Loco and the Huda Beauty Mercury Obsessions palette. I am doing this as a ask from a subscriber of mine who is has become such a, a, a wonderful friend uh, to my heart who is actually the person that talked me into the Mercury Retrograde palette and I hope that you all enjoy it as well. For those of you new here, hi my name is Donna. So so happy that you found me today. This is not your typical video by me. I don't do a whole lot of get ready with me's because I do find myself to love the makeup commentary more than the like let's put it on my face. Also, I'm not your guru. I'm not the person that knows what she's doing in that manner. So I don't like to sit here and pretend to know what I'm doing in that manner. I'm a lover of all things high end beauty and self care. And I am also a lady of a certain age that's told you, you shouldn't be doing these things because you're too darn old for it. Um, the crazy hair, the crazy eye looks, the crazy colors. I love it. And I'm going to do what soothes my soul. And I hope that you also are doing what soothes your soul. And if you need somebody to link arms with you and walk through that journey together, guess what? I am your person. You have found the right place. And I do hope that you will find it, that you also think that you found the right place. I think that you'll find I'm kind of a kick in the pants. Maybe not by this video. This might not be the video <laughs> for you to be watching first things first, but please do take an opportunity to click into some of my other videos. Videos. Maybe this might be the right video for you. God knows. Uh, with that said, I am so, so excited to show you how I came up with this look. So I, if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please just keep watching.
I'm gonna do a little montage so you can see the eye look. How do we feel about this eye look? I did this video because one of my loyal subscribers, somebody that really chats me up down in my comment section, wanted me to do an eye look coordinating these two palettes together and these two palettes were in my shop, my stash. So it just happened that it was going to work out anyways. I'm really glad that I could pull this look together. I have to be honest, since reviewing this palette in particular, the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde, like I have figured out how to manipulate the palette in a way that makes me excited to use it. I love this shadow here as a topper on many of my other eyeshadow looks. Like it is just such a beautiful opaque, like pink to green to blue, like glitter that looks so, so fabulous on many eye looks. And today's eye look, I both used this shadow and this glitter here. I did put the glitter as the, you know, spotlight on my eye. And I think that it turned out really, really well, um, utilizing a glitter glue. It didn't go all over my face and I'm super happy about that. I do really like this palette. Wouldn't say it's my favorite from Huda. I'm giving that to the new nudes palette. I did use this like teal color in this palette. I also used this purple in this palette, which is the like darker blue in appearance that you see there. I still don't really love that purple if I'm honest, but I do love the eye look. I do like how it came out and I, I do like kind of steer towards a blue eye when I'm doing this kind of fun, playful kind of look. The only thing that you guys did not see me put on is I am using both the Essence Lash Princess Waterproof on my lashes, which I can't say I love, but it is part of my shop, my stash. I am also using the They're Real Magnet on my lashes. I am using the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in Vivid, which is the purple that is on my lower lash line. I used the It Cosmetics Superhero Liquid Liner just across the top of my lash line. And I used the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk as my inner corner and my brow bone highlight. I just kind of wanted to do something super fun, but I mean, my blush, my highlight, it's all pretty subdued because it's 115 degrees outside and I don't feel like wearing a whole bunch on my face, honestly. The amount that I <laughs> took out of this bottle of the Smashbox Halo was way too much and I already have way too much makeup on my face just using that. I am, as far as a lip liner goes, I'm using the Jaunte Blue Spice Lip Liner and I'd show it to you, but I stuffed it back into the cap and now I can't get it out because I've used up an, a, a lip liner, which I'm so excited about. And I also used this Clinique Lip Gloss and this is in... I don't know because I can't read it because I'm blind without my glasses. Adore you. That is what's on my face. I do hope that you guys enjoyed the like impromptu, like collaborating the Natasha Denona Circle Loco palette with the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. I do think that they make beautiful color stories together. I wish I could get all of the shadows into one palette. It would be an amazing palette. I do feel like all the brights and brilliance and vivids and the beautiful pigments that I love from the Natasha Denona palette as well as all the glitters from the Huda palette. Perfect palette. Perfect palette. With that said, I I, again, I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you liked it enough that you're considering giving it a big thumbs up. It really does help our channels out here. I also hope that you liked it or me enough that you're considering subscribing before you go. Don't forget to hit the notification bell if you do subscribe. I wouldn't want you to miss anything. I hope that the month is treating you well. I hope that you and your loved ones are safe and healthy and doing what you can to get out there and make it in the world and just loving each other, but loving each other from afar. And until next time, friends, bye.